Hey, welcome to town. Thank you so much for having so, us. So, so glad everybody made it, all of you. I can see where that could happen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's five heads. There's got to be one guy sleeping in the back. Let's go. Let's exactly, roll. Right? Yeah. So yeah. Kopecky Family Band have an album. It's called Kids Raising Kids. It came out last October. Uh, they'll be at Mississippi Studios tonight. And you can see them uh, a little bit more at that time. So tell us about, I want to know a little bit more about Nashville. Because it seems like, I was, I was just talking to my boss, Chris. It seems like that place just breeds talent. And so many like-minded people come together there. What Can you kind of capture in a couple words for me, what is so special about Nashville? I think, I don't know. The best part for me about Nashville is coming home and buying groceries <laughs> and having someone be like, oh, hey, Kelsey, you're back. Just being known somewhere is really sweet to, to, to be a part of such a community that is very much just kind of overlaps and has a lot of little sweet moments. I know a lot of people, I think it's this idea of sanctuary. If I could figure that out, it would be the word. I think it's definitely this haven where people feel very comfortable. They don't feel like they're forced to do something creatively. They, they just do it. That's why they came there. It's like a mecca of art. So everyone just does it and they don't know what else to do. So there's a beautiful aspect of that that allows people to just kind of open up. Um, but at the same time, you know, there's this... M this difficulty, there's this challenge because it's the daunting city to live in. So sure. like imagine you're living in a city with a bunch of Michelangelo's and you're like, <laughs> 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 well, we're all Michelangelo, so, you know, but and so it's difficult, but it's, um, it's also a city that inspires people to work really hard. Um, and I think in the midst of that, it's allowed for us as a group of six people who came from totally different places. I mean, growing up everywhere from the Philippines to South Carolina, Denver, and Dallas, Fort Worth, and Minneapolis. and to come there and to find a place where we could become comfortable by knowing that we just could trust in each other and just be in a family kind of community and work towards something. That is correct. That is right. <laughs> Great job, Gabe. That was the correct what answer. Is family. That is the correct answer. So uh, somebody from the New York Times, uh, somebody, a writer for the New York Times said, uh, if you like, what was the quote? I hope I get this right. I actually wrote it down. You can quote it. I don't, I, I don't, I don't like quoting it. <laughs> a, a New York Times writer recently said, if you like Fleetwood Mac, try Capecchi, try Capecchi Family Band. Uh, first of all, that's a bold statement. Yes, right? Very bold statement. Yeah. Uh, and second, uh, would you agree with that? Would you, would you kind of, did you guys ever piece that I, together? I think, like, Kind of. It's like I didn't <laughs> want to touch it. <laughs> it's when one of those it came things. Out, I tried not to look at it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> don't repost it on your page. Uh, but you know, to a certain degree, like I, we think that they're a very dynamic band that is able to do a lot of things. They could make in, like intimate songs and then do a big pop song and be rocking and then be really just romantic. And there's something about that that I think that we try to embody, but I don't know for anything similar to it. Right. Um, again, that's someone's third party objective opinion. I like it because it's like, if you like this, then try this. It's like, if you like kettle corn, try chocolate covered pretzels. <laughs> they're different, but they're both, you know, you might like it exactly. if you like sweet things or whatever. But, so it's not, you know, gives us a little wiggle room. Maybe. I mean, it's not like whiskey and vodka. It's like, oh, I hate vodka. Right, <laughs> no. right. Right. The kettle corn is a great example. They're both tasty yeah. treats. They are tasty. Yeah. I'm sorry, if you like vodka, I just, just I. That's what it would be like. <laughs> right, right, right. So initially, your band started with, with Gabe and Kelsey, you two, writing songs. You met in a dorm, writing in a dorm. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, it kind of evolved into, into this uh, lar it's a pretty large band. H what was the, how did that happen? What was the cycle? Was there two, and then three, and then four, and then five, and then six? Or yeah, Maybe we just I haven't mean, been able to, you know. Will there be more coming? <laughs> What did you to, say? It was hard to say no to people. <laughs> no, it was, That's I so feel sweet. like it was such a natural evolution of just friendship first that we were like, oh, cool, David, you play drums. Perfect. Right. Oh, Steven, you're a great lead guitar player. Oh, Marcus, you play cello. Let's see how this could all work together. And Corey came along. It was just like a very friendship first. And then we started playing music all the time and really like practicing every weekend. Our other friends that we went to college with were like, Gosh, the Kopeckis having practice again on a Saturday morning because we were just like, we're going to work morning. really hard. It wasn't even like Saturday afternoon. It was, it was like 9.30 practice, guys. See you there. <laughs> um, and then it would, she was an RA, so at the same exact time, she was having to plan these like world culture lunches right. that would happen immediately following <laughs> our band practices. So it would be like us, and then all of a sudden, all these like 
tortillas would be bringing Prada and, and, and we're like, like you taping know, up all Nam the bread and the it was pretty funny. <laughs> then she would have us like tape up little world flags around. Yeah. yeah. That was a good time. Yeah. <laughs> Go college. Well, it's been a long road traveled, and congratulations on the Thanks. success. Thank you. Kids Raising Kids is their album is out, and you can see them uh, at Mississippi Studios tonight. And before then, I believe you'll be at Music Millennium That's right. in this store over there. So check them out there, too. Once again, Kapeki Family Band. Thanks so much, you guys. Thank you. Thank Thanks. you.